Hi, this video is about Upwork versus Fiverr. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to find and keep the highest quality contractors for a good price. Um, as you can see in Upwork, I've hired over 319 people. It's 319 uh, contracts that I have done over the years. And I feel like I've gotten uh, really good at, at, at uh, filtering through and finding the, the best people. Um, you know, and there's a lot of really bad people out there. Not bad in, in terms of a morally bad, but in terms of uh, good or bad for your business. Um, uh, and say that 19 out of 20 uh, people that if you just were to hire randomly um, are not going to be a good fit and, and not going to work out. Um, and I'm also going to show you which services are best for which platform. Some platform, uh, Upwork is really good for certain types of things and uh, Fiverr is really good for other types of things. Um, and there is some overlap, so you do have some choice uh, and they have changed over time. So I'm going to talk about that in this video. Uh, hello, my name is David Hood and I've made well over a million online and, uh, and uh, I'm going to I'm on a mission to help at least 10,000 people make their first million online. And a critical part of being able to make money online is to be able to contract out the things that you are not an expert at. This is actually really important. And if you try to do everything yourself, you're not going to go very far. Um, and what a lot of times what happens is you hire someone to do a job better than you at a much lower cost than essentially your time is worth. A really good example is on Upwork. Um, I, I recommend everybody have what I would call a website technician. A lot of people get website technician mixed up with web designer. They think that they're the same thing. Um, and there is some overlap in the skills, but I think that these are two different skill sets. Um, and the website technician one is especially important. Um, so when there's something wrong with the website, you don't want to debug it yourself. Don't ever try to debug a website yourself. Get a website technician and a lot of times uh, you can pay them, let's say, uh, like eight, eight or ten dollars an hour, and they can solve it in like fifteen to thirty minutes. And you can think about that. You've paid maybe five dollars to solve a major problem that maybe it would have taken you two or three hours, and either you would have made it worse, or you would probably be at the same place where you are uh, when you started. Okay, and so just these are certain things where you really need to get someone experienced and it, it's actually quite easy to, to find someone um, and not so much easy as it's simple and some because sometimes there are people that don't work out but I have some website technicians that have worked with me for many years because I found them and I knew how to treat them and I knew and, and I and I knew how to filter out the, the bad ones okay so upwork is better for more longer term work um, and, and higher skilled work typically. And uh, Fiverr is better for what I call like gig type work, um, like one time tasks. I, here I am actually looking at programming and I haven't seen this. Uh, I haven't tested out uh, programmers in here. I would probably not hire a programmer in Fiverr. I would definitely do it in Upwork. In fact, I've hired quite a few software developers in Upwork. Um, and so that's where I would go to, but maybe I'll uh, test Fiverr out and see how that works out because it's, it's, it's just kind of strange to think, okay, well, he's going to do this for $20. Where does this stop? What if I need more? Especially with the software development, you're going to need continued work. Um, let's talk a little bit more about um, Upwork. So website technicians, this is really great for VAs, virtual assistants. Um, this is also really great for, you can get really good, really good deals on this. Graphic designer is actually good for both Upwork and, um, and, uh, and, and uh, Fiverr, let's see. So you can go here and graphics. There's all sorts of different graphic design. Used to be a lot cheaper. Used to be you could get like a really great logo for like for like five bucks. Um, now if you go into here, so we go to like check out this like top rated seller. Um, you have the basic logo, you, you don't really get a whole lot for that. And so you're probably gonna be paying more like uh, 55, which is still really good, um, but you used to be able to get it for like super, super cheap. Um, uh, but if you have a lot of graphic design work, again, again like long-term work, I, I recommend uh, going through here. Uh, video editor, uh, I got an editor that edits this video. Hey, hey Daniel. <laughs> and uh, this um, and that this is a great place because it's kind of like long-term ongoing work because um, I'm constantly making uh, videos of all different types. Writers, um, I, I like writers for Upwork as well. Uh, software developers I mentioned. Legal, this is actually really, really good. This is one of my favorite things to do here. So like uh, filling out all the forms and, and get doing consulting work on like an LLC and stuff. So much more convenient 
and so much less expensive than hiring a lawyer. A lot of times what you'll get is like a, a paralegal, which who, which pretty much knows the basics of these. And not only that, but they kind of, they, they will fill out the forms for you. So like a lawyer is not going to probably fill out the forms for you, or it's going to be very expensive. You can usually get a really good uh, deal. Now this is, uh, don't take this advice exactly because you need a lawyer for everything um, legally and uh, you know, say that, but I'm sure that, that there's some people out there that can do a pretty good job, uh, you know, that, that are, maybe aren't exactly lawyers at the same time. I don't recommend, I don't recommend that you do that uh, for legal purposes. A family will, I got a family will uh, written on here. HR, which is kind of legal as, as well. If you're hiring someone like full time or contractor, then that's great. Uh, one thing to, to not hire on Upwork or, or Fiverr is like search engine optimization. That's my main core business is search engine optimization. And there's kind of a joke in my industry that you hired someone on Fiverr and it just backfired. Um, it, it, I just do not recommend you do that. Even on Upwork, it's, I'm sure that there's some people, if you really, really feel like you want to use one of these for SEO, definitely do Upwork. But even then, I, I think that you're going to be playing with fire a little bit to a certain degree. Okay, so I'm going to show you real quick um, kind of how to hire. Uh, and so uh, one really easy way to do this is for, you're going to need a detailed description. You don't want to just put up like, I want a website technician. And so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to switch over to the freelancer mode. And I'm going to search for, let's just like, if I want to make a website, website technician, uh, maybe I spelled that wrong. WordPress. And now you could probably do like a, a WordPress developer or probably eh. to me, that means that can mean different things. Okay. So WordPress, um, uh, let's just do a developer because a lot of times this well, to me, this would normally mean like someone who makes software. This can be just someone who edits, edits it like a website developer. Okay. So what we can do is we're going to, I'm going to hold control and click uh, and uh, I want to open like, we don't want setup and tutoring. This is web design. Uh, and we're going to do one more. So I'm going to open up several of these. I'm going to go here and I'm going to read these. I'm going to see if it makes sense to me. Um, it's also going to give me an idea, you know, if uh, they've got proposals less than five, 20 to 50. Okay, well, they got a lot. So what what is it that they did that was different? So you can kind of uh, copy their descriptions. These are pretty short descriptions. And take the best of these six. And then you'd go back up here, go back to here and post a job and I'd follow through the process. One quick tip that is really useful, you wanna make sure that someone isn't coming in and just like posting their, you know, they're not just applying to a bunch of jobs and not really reading the job description. And so I like to slip uh, kind of a, 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 a an off topic question in the middle of all of my um, descriptions. The, the common one I do is that I do ask for, what is your favorite color? Um, and so when I get the, um, the proposals back, especially a, a, like a lot of jobs, like a VA, if you're gonna hire a virtual assistant, you're gonna get like, 50 in overnight, pretty much, depending on how you do it. But let's say you get 50. Well, this could be a really quick filter. Maybe 20 of them actually gave you their color back, especially for something like a VA. They, their attention to detail is super important. Um, and while it doesn't automatically eliminate someone, um, it can be the difference maker. If someone, if two people are really close and one of them, um, even if even if they both have like really good reviews, um, then I, I think that going in and uh, you know using that as a, as a deal breaker can actually make a big difference. Um, now, once you get proposals, this one was actually pretty short on them. What they'll do is it'll sort by best match. Um, I, I actually, I think the most important um, number to look at is how much money they have earned. Um, and and, uh, and the reason for that is that it means that they're invested in their their uh, profile. And so, uh, you know, they're they're not going to, it reduces your risk essentially to, to get somebody who's earned uh, $20,000 on Upwork. They're, they're not gonna try to, they're not gonna try to burn you. It nearly is likely because, um, you know, they've made a lot of money and they, they wanna make more almost certainly. And they also have like job success rate and then there'll be, there'll be ratings. So if I click on this guy, um, I can come in here and he's got a hundred percent job success rate. Um, he's earned over 20,000. He did 250 on this, didn't end up uh, taking him, but you can also, there's a way, let me kind of put this around, profile link. Let's see, I think you can go copy link. 
let's see. She can give us um, his reviews. You can go down. Um, you can see what reviews he's got. Uh, okay, so this is like his profile. You want to make sure that that the like the title of the profile matches what they're what the job you're bidding on. Sometimes people will bid on things that are a little bit outside their expertise. And I don't really, I, I don't, I don't have a problem with them doing that, but I don't want to hire those people. I want someone who's specialized in what I want to do. They don't have the, um, just to aggregate their, their, uh, like overall review rating. So I guess we're just going to have to kind of look through here and make sure that they don't have like, you know, a 4.85. There's nothing wrong with that. Nobody's perfect. Um, go through and really look at their ratings. Um, also, you know, 100% job success rate, a top rated. Um, that's a that's a good sign. Okay, uh, in general. All right. So that's that's one uh, way to really uh, go go out of there. Okay. So there's a lot I could I could talk all day about on how to hire, but I'm gonna move on. So uh, another thing to is to, to keep good workers. So there's a lot of workers that aren't gonna be a good fit. So when you find someone who is good, you really want to be able to keep them around. And there's really simple things to here. Don't don't be a jerk. Just don't be a jerk. Um, you know, be be flexible. Uh, one benefit for me um, w with this is that I can kind of hire them on an as needed basis. One benefit for them is that they can kind of work on an, you know, when they when they want to. And so I, I try uh, to be very understanding with regards to you know when they want time off. If there's you know there, there's holidays that you know they're in a different country and they take a week off, I don't mind that. That's fine for me as long as they let me know. Um, and then also, you know, when I send them some work that they don't have to like reply immediately. That actually fits me pretty good. But at the same time, I do like consistent replies, you know, within 48 hours or, you know, one or two business days, mo vast majority of the time, there should be uh, some good level of communication. Um, the, another thing that's really interesting is when you post a job, you can do hourly or fixed. This is really nice because um, some things fit hourly and some things fit fixed. Fixed is lower risk for me, but higher risk for the uh, the worker. Um, and if you can really clearly define sort of like the exact things that you need, fixed can make a lot of sense. It could also, again, reduce your risk. Um, hourly can, can, like the cost, some, like with a software developer, which is still kind of, a lot of people still recommend that you get hourly. And I think it's kind of, I'm kind of mixed on it. Um, for software developer, it, it can, the project can, can, uh, can uh, balloon the project costs uh, with an hourly type of thing. Uh, but sometimes that's what it takes. So it's it's kind of it's kind of hard. You're gonna have to make your own decision. Um, but know that the the workers definitely like hourly because it's lower risk for them. Um, Upwork takes 10% and uh, Fiverr takes 20%. Uh, uh, last I checked, I, I don't know if on the higher levels. I haven't checked in a while. They take more. They take less. Um, let's take take a look at. Uh, a little bit more. At, um, so the graphic design is probably the main area that I would recommend using Fiverr for. The second main area would be sort of like, a, and this is very broad, would be like one time virtual assistant type gigs. So sometimes what I'll do is like, um, maybe they'll have something here, like creating your social accounts. Um, this would be good to hire someone who knows what they're doing. Um, and they can create 20 social accounts for you and set them all up and it'll cost you maybe 20, 5 to 20 bucks and that can save you time. Um, that can be very efficient uh, for for you. Um, let's see. Sorry, I got an alarm. Um, let's see. There are some really weird stuff that you can do on Fiverr that it, you just don't really find on Upwork. It just wouldn't make sense. So like this guy, I will say anything you want as a sexy shirtless pirate. Cool. Uh, there's also like cute girls. I will film high quality dancing video. Jesus on here. I actually had like a Christmas present I gave someone um, from here. Uh, I will be an impersonator. You know, there's pretty girls on here willing to say things. Um, you know, and so uh, there's all sorts of weird stuff uh, that you can get. See, like here, she's probably willing. Look, she's. I will dance for you to any song. Right? So maybe you can get her, you can also come here if you like, okay, she's cute, but this isn't exactly what I want. What else does she do? Um, you know, she is very cute. I will make funny challenge video. It'll be a model holding your product. Okay, so this is, this is valuable actually. Um, if you think about this, you have a product, she'll do this for $5 um, and maybe $50. It's still really good um, for something really specific, which is what I like. Uh, and again, there's, there's tons of, 
pretty girls on here that are willing to do this. Celebrity impersonators. This is this is also really great. I, I love the idea. You know, this is something that you know you just have to really be creative here and use your creativity on what you can do. Spokesperson videos. Um, this is also good for kind of marketing type things. Again, you've got like pretty girls that are, you know, that will come in here and she'll say what Hi, she Hi, I'm need. Rhonda and I would like to offer right? you my professional there's, video spokesperson services on be lots green of screen. Extras. A video can be a very powerful marketing tool to promote your business. See the, As a top rated the, uh, seller, I would love to be the one to help she you. Speaks Spanish. With this gig, I'm offering to do uh, up to a 30 word Spanish script that you huge. provide in 720 for her to green screen talk about my product. Say 30 words, 50 words about my product in behind green screen. And yes, I can do scripts longer than 30 words. That's really amazing. It's going to be a lot harder to find something like that on Upwork. I really like that. So kind of like random marketing things. Your message on, this is very similar. I will hold your image or logo message by this girl. Uh, again, uh, pretty, you know, pretty girls do well in marketing, right? Put your text, your logo here, right? $5. I mean, come on. That's, uh, you, how are you going to find something like that uh, elsewhere? Uh, let's see. This is weird. This I was just kind of testing this. Okay, so I, I think I've, I've talked long enough about this. I think that you know you could you could kind of play with each one of these. I prefer, I use Upwork a lot more than I use Fiverr, just so you know. But I think that Fiverr still has a lot of value and it can be really good uh, for certain things, as I've mentioned in this video. Um, hopefully this video has been really helpful to you. Um, if you like this video, please uh, uh, give a thumbs up. Um, if you want a like an actual like up, up work um, job description. You want me to send you like something that you can copy and paste for something specific for like a, a VA or um, a website technician. I will write one or I'll take one of the old ones that I have that worked really well and I will send it to you. So make a comment below saying I want um, a, a job description, a job post description for a website technician. I will send it to you. Um, and again, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.